Right, uh, welcome home. I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing burger. And for me, the secret of burger is in the blend. So we've got chuck, we've got the most amazing ground beef, a little bit of brisket. First things first, season it. Once you've seasoned them, combine them together. We're binding this together with a touch of egg. That sticks it together, and more importantly, try and get this done the day before. You get this done the day before, set them in the fridge so they stay nice and firm, that way they don't fall apart on the grill. Get that grill piping hot. Now, this is one of my most desired burgers, one of my favorite burgers. This is, for me, called the F Word Burger, which is actually on sale at my burger restaurant at Planet Hollywood in Vegas. Now, season them. Let the meat relax a little bit. Don't take them out of the fridge ice cold, otherwise they'll be dry on the outside and raw in the middle. Grill, piping hot. A little touch of oil on the burger to start off with. This is a beautiful grapeseed oil. Make sure it's seasoned. Also, roll the seasoning around the edge of the burger. You know, you can't season the burger after it's cooked, so make sure you roll that seasoning around the outside and mop up all that seasoning. Gently, all the burgers, and then on. Find the hottest spot, which is normally Two thirds of the way up. Once you put a burger on the grill, the secret is to move it as less as possible. The more you move it, the more chance you've got of breaking the burger. And then look, on. Now from there, lid down. That incorporates the heat, gets a great sear on the bottom, so when we come to turn those burgers, they don't stick. How many times have you stuck burgers on a grill and wondered why it's sticking. Nicely oiled, quick sear, and put that lid down, really important. Now, alongside my burger, I'm gonna be toasting the buns. Why do we toast the buns? We toast the bun because there's nothing worse than the soggy bun. How many times have you had a burger and the bun is wet? If you toast that bun, it gets nice and crisp and it protects the burger. So, salt, pepper, a little drizzle of oil, and lightly toast those buns. Back up, lift, quick, in, toast those buns. What goes well with the burger? Great cheese, tomato, lettuce, a little bit of mustard mayonnaise, and then these beauties here, grilled onions. Peel the onion, slice them, lightly season them, salt, pepper. Fresh grilled onions on a burger, trust me, delicious, easy to do absolutely phenomenal. Now, on. Season them. Keep them whole like that. That way they stop breaking up. And then look. I'm a firm believer in toasting both sides of my bun. Top and bottom. Onions on. Lid back down. Now, look at that bun. Beautiful. Turn these beauties over. Wow. The flame is the flavor, okay? Use a long spatula, the way that goes. A busy grill is a delicious grill. So, you don't cook the burger, and then set it up for dressing. You get set up first, so while the burger's cooking, you get everything done first. It's a really important tip. Why? It stops the burger going cold, and also you want to eat it when it's piping hot. Mmm! Look at those babies. Caramelize those onions. Love those. Now, at my burger restaurants in Las Vegas, we baste the burgers with Devonshire butter. Today, we're just gonna lightly brush a bit of butter onto the burgers. With that flame underneath, it sort of caramelizes the butter and puts this wonderful flavor on top. So just lightly brush a little bit of butter on there. And it makes the burger so tasty. Now, if you wanna become even more chefy, what can you do? Make a red wine butter, a chipotle butter. This is the basic, amazing recipe for a great burger. It's up to you to sort of make it your own. But lightly brushing the burgers with a touch of butter. Two minutes before they come off, 
so exciting. Look at the color of those burgers. Notice how there's no shrinkage there because we've got the right amount of fat in there. And with this butter, it makes it so flavorsome. Right, time to flip over again. Literally three and a half to four minutes each side. Look at that. That is a burger to die for. And then a light brush. Now, before they come off the grill, lightly season them on the grill. Look, from a distance. The first part of the seasoning is cooked and it's inside that burger. Last part of the seasoning, literally before you take them off, really important. Season, 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 close. Now for the exciting part. Here's the base, okay? That's the bum of the burger. Base, base, base. Three tops, three bases. Think about how you're gonna assemble this. Think about once it's clutched in your hand. 30 seconds before those burgers come off, I'm gonna put my nice, beautiful, rich cheddar cheese on top. So, on. Let's go there. Cheese on, on, on. Remember, we season underneath that, so the flavor inside is gonna be incredible. First off, a little touch of mayonnaise. This is a light mustard mayonnaise. On, look at that, on. I'm gonna go for the top as well. How many times have you seen guests that have opened up a burger and they try to put ketchup or mayonnaise? Once you've assembled a burger, you can't re-break it down. You've got to put it together and eat it nice and whole. So you want this oozing out the side. Now, mayonnaise on. From there, take your lettuce and just lightly snap the lettuce, break that in half and sort of manipulate the lettuce where it sits literally on your bun. Snap it, break it and form the lettuce the same shape of your bun. Snap it, break it and gently push it down. From there, a nice slice of tomato. After that, give me an S, S, give me an A, A, give me an L, L, give me a T. Salt and pepper on that tomato. Lightly season it, beautifully done. And look, from there, a touch more mayonnaise. A touch, just a touch. Now, here's where it goes up a level. Look at that cheese. That Come on, seriously, beautiful. On she goes. Number two, on she goes. I mean, number three, on she goes. How do we elevate it even more? How do we take that to another level? Look at these. Come on, seriously. I mean, freshly grilled onions to absolutely die for. Take them off. Caramelize the onions. And then the flavor from inside that is incredible. On, on. Be generous with those onions. There. I'm not a big fan of raw onion on a burger. It's too harsh, it's too, acidic and it blows the flavor of that amazing pate and then look from there on down and hold that baby in on down and on on down and in and look watch what happens look at this slice 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 down. So if you can't manage a whole one, take half a one. And then look, we go boom, boom, and boom. And that is why I have one of the busiest households anywhere in America. When you've got a neighbor like Stevie Wonder next door that can smell those delicious burgers, Kim and Kanye three doors down, trust me, that is a burger to die for. Bon appétit.